Warning. Listen to discretion is advised. In your face, all over the place. We're online 24 7. 24 7. You're listening to the hottest internet station. Access Radio. Coffee. Coffee now! Nine years running, over 500 episodes, 25,000 fans on social media, three-time award-winning podcast, the show that pissed off Arrow Stephen and Mel on Facebook. The podcast that has the most listens by the way of Ashburn, Virginia. This guy's got the right idea. He wore the brown pants. Stuff and pee and poop stuff. <laughs> Nothing poo. There is some smooth knee pits out there. I got bad knees. DCR on Access Radio. Beer, your pig. <laughs> Is it a Charlie verse? <laughs> but I hope you leave enough room for my fist because I'm going to ram it into your stomach and break your goddamn spine! <laughs> and here we go. <laughs> so, <clears throat> oh, how you doing over there, big guy? I don't know if I've fully recovered yet. <laughs> Literally, I, I still have tears because of that last grapefruiting. Oh, shit. What? So. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, no. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, what? Oh, no. I don't know. I don't what, know. Was I, that just eight seconds of Jones barbecue foot massage? I'm looking up now. <clears throat> They're actually... Oh, no. Okay, oh. hold on, hold on. Jones Barbecue Foot Massage! Jones Barbecue Foot Massage! You better come down here, get some of this shit. You like to eat? America loves to eat. So why not open up somewhere America can sit down, enjoy a meal, and get their feet rubbed? We'll fry anything you want for $5.99. As long as it's friable or edible, we're going to make it deliciousable. We will fry parts of the chicken you didn't even know was friable. The beef, the feathers, we'll fry candy bars. All that European stuff that you don't really normally eat, we'll bring it down here and fry it for you. Ask yep. McDonald's to fry something other than what they normally fry. Guess what you're going to get? Nothing. If it fit through the dough, I'll put it in the fry. Hell, this is a dinosaur. All our meats are gently tenderized to their optimum deliciousness. We got fine dinosaur meats. So took my money, made me pay child support. Come on down here and get you a slice. <laughs> Once they get your social security number, it's over. Motivated, 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 motivated. So friends, let's just decide you don't want no barbecue. Well, that's fine too. Why not let one of my foot specialists or myself perform my magic? Is that barbecue yeah, sauce? Yeah, that's barbecue sauce. If you really sauce. pay me enough, we will massage your feet in any of these sauces also. Success is the rule down here at Jones. Good ass barbecue and foot massage. Good ass. So go ahead and give Good me a ass. call or find us on the worldwide internets at the new website. That's J-O-N-E-S Big Ass Truck Riddle and Storage dot com backslash Jones. Good ass barbecue and foot massage dot there's a actual commercial for that next. Excuse me, did you call number 52? Did you hear me call number 52? Why leave anything on oh your God. front lawn, under your porch, okay. on the side of the highway where you can store all that stuff my way? Down here at Jones Big Ass Truck Rental and Car Storage. Now, I know y'all got stuff at your house that you don't need no more, you don't want. <laughs> you know you ain't gonna use that printer. Why keep it all around your house? Bring it down here to my house. You okay, ain't gonna do this is not nearly as You know ain't gonna use that ugly yellow I'm luggage. This one you now. don't need all this crap. No, what you gonna do with so, this? This is not what it. It's right my now, yard. I don't get. Right. This show is like you go to an amusement park and you go on the best ride first. Joe? Everything else just won't measure up to it. No. Nothing will measure up to the grapefruit technique. Right. You got some digging to do if we want to do something that's going to top that. And we opened with it. Well, I mean, there is a lot of very questionable things that I know. There is questionable things on YouTube. Now, are we going to push the boundaries of questionable on Access Radio? I mean, everything. Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, oh on. shit. Ah, oh, that does look bad. <clears throat> wow. 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 This is chatting away with friends about stuff. It's just David. David. Oh, excuse You'd me. You'd all be dead if it wasn't for my David. Well, maybe. You saw he was putting me to work. You know what he was doing. Yeah. Yeah. You get it. I do. Oh, Jesus Christ. Should we save it? It's too late now. Sure, we should. It's on the street, then you gotta do a rap, do a hip-hop beat. 
So I gave my sermon an urban kick. My rhymes are fly, <laughs> my beats are sick. My crew is big and it keeps getting oh. bigger. That's I don't know, did I ever play this for you? You know what? I'm going to go to a quick break. I want to play this when I come back. Okay. Because this is really funny. It's five minutes long and I want to do it to someone, but everyone would fall for it. So uh, let's play some more Christmas music because you got to pay your bill. <laughs> okay, so now think of the craziest prank call you've ever heard of. See, I'm, uh, I grew up on the Jerky Boys. The Jerky Boys, now it's clean, but the premise of the story is that this guy wanted to rent SummerSlam one year. He wanted to what? Rent SummerSlam. Okay. So, can I play? All right. Now, this is pranked by a radio station. This is this week's phone scam. Check it out. Oh, phone scam. Hello? I have just one question for you. Are you ready? Am I ready for what? Who's this? Are you ready for this Sunday night when WWE <laughs> champ John Cena oh, defends his title in the WWE Super Slam? Right now, you can order this awesome pay-per-view event for just $59.99. I'm sorry, no. There is not any chance in hell that we're ever going to have wrestling in this house again. But thank you. But no. Have a good day. <laughs> And goodbye to anyone standing in John Cena's way when he takes up six men in a steel cage shoots and ladders match at WWE Super Slam. Super Slam. Slam. Order now and take ten dollars with a low price of just forty nine ninety nine. Sir, you guys have called me, and as I mentioned before, we're not ordering this, so please stop calling my house. Thank you and goodbye. Hi, can I speak to Champ? Who? Champ? Is Champ there? Who is Champ? That question will be answered this Sunday night! Listen! Hey, sir! Taking on Shane! Quit calling my house! The Undertaker! Quit calling me! See a pump! Even Triple H and the Big Show in a spit swapping makeout match. WWE Super Listen, Slam. hello, hello. Can you stop screaming in your little sirens and whatever that is? Can you knock it off for five seconds? Not interested. Stop calling my fucking house. <laughs> hello. I'm watching you. Excuse me? That's exactly what The Undertaker told John Cena! <laughs> will he be able to take the belt from the mightiest <laughs> champion in WWE history yeah, at this well, weekend's WWE if it's fake, Super Slam? It's pretty damn funny. Yeah. One more, that's actually I just want to hear the Cena song. Stop calling my house John before Cena. I get your number. I will track you down and absolutely tear you to Okay, I think it's I swear to Jesus, if this is those wrestling f again. Okay, good morning. Uh, hi, I'm just calling this morning to ask if you're a supporter of the United States military. Oh my god, I apologize. We've oh been god. getting calls all morning. I, I apologize, and yes. Fantastic. Yes, I am. Great. Are you a supporter of the Marine Corps? Oh, no. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Good. Absolutely. Great, because a former decorated member of the United States Marine Corps needs your support. And his name is John C. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Boots you? This you? Come on, it is funny. That is funny. That is funny. That is funny. But we can't. Do... It's funny because for the longest time, John Cena was a was a prank. It, that's what I thought. Oh, I just popped myself in the face, which is hilarious too. That was pretty that good. was John Cena's fault. That was pretty too. good. No, I know there was the whole like the John Cena stuff, and didn't he get pissed off at that? No, he no? don't care. He doesn't care about that shit. As long as he keeps making that money. I mean, there's a Skittles song. Skittles. I mean. It's hard. To, you know what? I'm like in a really bad situation right now. There's no way this is going to be funnier tonight. 
I don't think you're. I think I we're think gonna we have take to go another to another break and just and, re- and search and search. Yeah. I'm gonna get out the old phone and I'm gonna search too. Okay, we're gone. Girl, you just don't realize what you do to me when you hold me. Come on, it's the hop. It is the hop. He's huge in Germany. Oh, he's extremely huge in Germany. Now, do you think it's because he's German? Now, explain to me why there's angels coming towards Dash Hound. And why he's in Africa now. Yeah. Now, here's the question. He really doesn't sound that bad, though. Here's the question. Is he serious doing yes. this? This is like serious. I'm making a good song. You know what? I have to show you some far worse than this. Huh? Find some time. Because what's worse, that or Shatner sings? Because that William Shatner album, that's got to be one of the worst Hold things on. ever, ever. Re- oh, no. The song is called Lita Sami Want the Punani. By who? Steven Seagal. That fat oh. fuck who wouldn't get out of the seat. Wouldn't get out of his chair. It's up here somewhere. It's somewhere on the wall of shame. Somewhere. I, I looked at it the other day. Yeah. That's got me on your side, I think. I'm just so upset. Right there. Top left. Top left. Second one down. Yeah. Oh, God. Hold on, hold on. There's a dust in my... What? Like, he's not even playing the guitar correctly. So... This is what happens when your ego gets too big that you can't realize how much you suck. So, okay. Play, another, you have to play, have... play another another minute of it. Uh, can I pick a different song? Because this one doesn't sound good. Just how would he compare Hold to... On. What's this? All right, Peter. Your sister's the real deal. So I arranged for you to get some combat pointers from my old buddy, Steven Seagal. Uh, uh, this, this fat guy? Yep. Go on, ask him anything. I, how did, uh, why, why are you so fat? Okay, ask him about anything <laughs> but his weight. Uh, uh, you act Asian, you look Native American, your name is possibly Jewish. What are you? <laughs> hey, fat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, so sometimes Family Guy actually does have a, go- oh my God, they have another one, Steven Seagal. I spent my refund on a digital TV with surround sound. It's got headphones so I can watch my Steven Seagal movies without waking Bonnie. Yes! Rock and load! Rock and load! Bring on the pain! You bastards come into our village and kill our fish, loot our water. I'm gonna send you back to hell where you belong. (laughs) Fighting seals. All right. (laughs) So, okay, but you met. We met him. We did. We met him. Yeah. And I have never... I, I've We've met a lot of people. We have. The Wall of Fame. This is... I've selected... This is cut down, believe it or not. It is cut down. It was like yes. over 100 frames, and I come down to like 30. I think. Yeah. And Steven Seagal somehow made the cut. I don't know why. Don't know how. But, well, we it's... Steven Seagal's legendary, dude. Like... Growing up, his movies were some of the greatest movies ever. Every time sure. you go, anytime you would go into a pool hall, you would look to see what you could take so that you could actually wrap around a pool ball in case in sure. case you had to throw down. Sure. Okay. But who off the Bobby Lupo? Hey, I'm looking for Bobby Lupo. Who off Bobby Lupo? And then the last time he had a big movie was what? Never. Executive decision. That wasn't big. Well, of course not. He died five minutes in. Oh, there you go. No. Was Glover Man before or after that? Was he in any of the Expendables? No. No? They didn't like him. Well. Pro- but somehow Van Damme made it in there. Well, he wasn't doing much other than Come on, you, doing know, the you know Van Damme. A, doing the splits on a, you know, a train and on a Van Damme's got a reputation in the falls. We've yeah, talked about this. Yeah, we have talked about so, that. So, I don't, I don't know about that. Is. Yeah, but, Van I mean, Damme's uh, apparently a piece of trash. I'm looking for Bobby Lupo. Hey, who's seen Bobby Lupo? Lupo. Who off the Bobby Lupo? Oh God, Steven Seagal. <clears throat> Where's Ricky? <laughs> God, I'm just looking at it, just like, oh, Steven Seagal. There's a, 
Nope. I'm not even clicking on that one. What? What is it? Can you read that? Yes. Play it. Click on that. Okay. So uh, I've, I've been watching a, a shit ton of what I like to call the Intamin's Donut Goatee Seagal era films. <laughs> yeah, we watched one anything, last night. Anything post-2000. Dude, let me check off some Probably 2011 or 12. Okay. So the last four years of Seagal movies. And he's never been... He's actually like, done movies. Uh, particularly <laughs> an active all the time. guy. He drops but, like you know, four like, years. Under siege era, he's in good shape. He's, he's in, like, no, he's in Above the Law. First of all, p- what people don't realize about Seagal is that when Above the Law came out, he was already like 34 years old. Right. Mm-hmm. He wasn't a young guy. So his first movie, he was right. already, you know, like getting on. And yeah. you can see his hairline's fucked up in that movie. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, all yeah. like <laughs> thin, you know, in the front. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then in Hard to Kill, his hairline's fixed. And you know uh, he's a little bit fatter. And he true. just got progressively fatter through throughout his entire career. Yeah, that was back in the day when you didn't have to be cut. Yeah. Well, now he's sixty-five <laughs> years old, and in, in the last, he's in his sixties. His body he's still, sucks. He's still making movies where it's like we need to send our best special forces out, <laughs> and then he spends half the movie in a chair. You know, he refuses to get up. So we watched last night uh, Sniper Special Ops, and they there's no colon. It's Sniper Special Ops. <laughs> Yeah. That's because special. the Tom Berenger Sniper series are not related to Sniper Special Ops. Uh-huh. And he does maybe five seconds of sniping in the movie. <laughs> it's right in the beginning. He refuses to take his sunglasses off while looking through the sniper rifle. That's so he's the wearing these dumb know. fucking like snowboarding sunglasses while like looking down this rifle. And then when they show the enemies in the reticle, they're like <laughs> five feet away they're, they're taking up the entire scope so he's probably yeah like ten five feet away from these guys so awesome and missing you know, like, yeah, I don't know why yeah, yeah. they let him miss for you suspense. think he refuses to take it off you're saying you think Steven Seagal the actor yeah is like no absolutely not I'm not getting out of this chair I'm not taking off yes the 100% I guarantee you that's what it is <laughs> yeah because the thing about all Sounds these movies familiar. is they're yeah. all produced by uh, Steamroller Productions which he owns. What, that's like a Chinese. Oh no, God! Yeah, Steam so he Seagal's has company he owns it with some uh, like Indonesian guy or something. Yeah, it's like when you work in a restaurant, yeah, you have to wait on the owner doesn't. of the restaurant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so you know all these people. Then he brings all these they fucking totally old fucks the out of retirement. Oh, yeah. He's like, out you know, of like Rob Van Winkle, like dying wrestlers. Rob, being, yeah, it's all like uh, yeah. retired WWE guys. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so check this out. In Sniper Special Ops, you know it's like is that Rob Van Dam? Yeah, that's Rob Van Dam in Sniper Special Ops. Overwatch. Two is at Charlie. Oh my god! Anything in my area? I love it. We need to he's, watch yeah, this movie. He's playing like. Dude, uh, okay, you know, stop this. Go to like internet uh, movie database. Sniper special ops. We okay. got to see who the cast is. Okay, we're gonna take a break while we're doing that. We're gonna have to play some Sim down. <laughs> They must have got paid very well for this. This is the, like... Like it looks like a CGI den. Like they look like they're not even there and they're just CGI. I think they are. No. The blue screen in. No, they are not CGI in. They're literally doing this. It's the Super Bowl shuffle. The key doesn't look like he's in front of them. So I'm telling you, he is the on the blue, he's behind our blue screen. They probably just recorded them dancing back and forth like idiots. No, just Jim McMahon. Jim McMahon. Wow, that guy had way too much women. I guess it is. A little dance here. He called himself a chocolate swirl, I want to say. Like will you different meaning nowadays. <laughs> Does that mean like the Dairy Queen saucer? How do you get the hook in? No, um, okay, so a Super Bowl shuffle was it was immortalized as the greatest football song of all time. The worst, the best. Okay. So like, are you watching this? They Super don't Bowl? do that anymore. Well, no. They don't do stuff like the Super Bowl shuffle. Why it gets do you brought think that up is? Every now and then. But now I guess you can't say the words the Super Bowl. You got to call it the big game. <laughs> Seriously, you cannot. You'll, Why? You won't Why? hear people talk about it other it's than the licensed, big game. 
other than licensed, uh, like like people who are licensed through NFL, you will not hear them say the Super Bowl. You'll hear them call it the big game because the you're not game. allowed to use it. The big game. Because it has copyrights and shit. The big game. Now, will you be watching the big nope. game um, on Sunday? It's funny. I didn't realize it was Super Bowl weekend until I was at the hockey game this past Sunday, and they said, uh, are you going to see you at the game next weekend? I was like, yeah, sure. And then they said, don't forget, it's 1 o'clock. It's like, why is it at 1 o'clock? It's always 7. Super Bowl. Ah. See, my team was eliminated, so I just stopped caring. Just like the NHL season. Done. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the haptic garbage is here. There's nothing to do. They even fired the coach that took him to the playoffs last year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, um, I don't know if the NFL thought this out right. There's going to be... like so. Well, like the time they thought concussions wasn't a real thing. Well, yeah. Now, you got to you guys hear me out on this one here. I'm trying to. So, um, Super Bowl is the number one day of the year for women going to shelters from being beaten. What? Literally. Number one no. day of the year. Yes. The number one day of the year for stuff like that happening is Super Bowl day. Because dude has too many drinks. His team loses. He gets pissed off. Oh. The woman says, why the fuck does it matter? And gets hit. It happens. Now, they added an extra week to the football season this year, which pushed Super Bowl to Valentine's Day. So Valentine's weekend now, Sunday, is Super Bowl. Right. Is this going to be a bad thing? Because dude might want to watch the Super Bowl. Lady might not want to watch the Super Bowl. And then it's going to cause a problem. Are, are you uh, looking up the stats I'm trying to see. It? I'm trying to see your stats. Trying to see the stats. I can't find your stats. Can't find the stats? Right. Well, I'm just saying. I'm actually very interested by this. Because that's a very interesting fact. Not a good fact. I'm not saying that whatsoever. No, but it's a very interesting a good, fact. Not a good fact whatsoever. Um, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I have no... I watch Super Bowl mainly because there's food. Yeah. Super Bowl food is good. Yeah, you can't touch Super Bowl, Super Bowl food. food. It's ridiculous. And I am a football fan. I do like football. Do you like the foosball? Mind you, mama don't like no foosball. Oh, what's foosball your team? What's devil. your team? What's your team? What's my? What's that? Team. So. Uh, oh, you're one of those people. Are you a bandwagon jumper? Yeah. 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 Were you on I the am... Bills bandwagon this year? Yeah. Uh, that was heartbreaking. No, it like, I've been a Green Bay Packers fan since, like, Brett Favre first started playing. <laughs> so it's always been Green Bay Packers, Green Bay Packers. This year as well, Green Bay Packers. But Aaron Rodgers is a bit of a dick. He is a bit of a dick. But he's, he's not playing anymore. He's done. What's that? He's, he's probably, he probably won't even have a team next year. No, he'll... Come on. He won't have a team next What's the he, point of him playing anymore? He will get paid so much money sure, to play. Sure, but he's still one of the top players in the league. Uh I mean, exactly. they remember the time the, the what's his name, Brett Favre, he left, he retired and came back and went to Minnesota and... Yeah, and we took him to the playoffs. Eh. As an old man. As an old man. Favre still has another... Co- the, or, no or, one will ever touch Rogers Brady. No years. one will touch Brady. He's going to retire. Ever. Greatest ever. quarterback of all time. It hurts me to say that because I was a huge Joe Montana fan. Um, No, there is no one better, even remotely close to Tom Brady. No one has, no one has come remotely close to what Tom Brady has done. You know what team has the most Super Bowl wins? Mm. Was it Steel- was the Steelers? Doesn't matter. Tom Brady is more. Mm, I don't know about that. I'll that's have to look, some, that's to look up. That's He's got how many Super Bowls? He got six. Seven, I think. Six with the uh, uh, Patriots and one with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, I found myself this year oh. following more of what the Buffalo Bills were doing, and I was yeah, you're right. excited they do, to see them win. New England and Pittsburgh are tied for the most Super Bowl victories at six. Yes. So you're right. And Tom Brady has seven. Yes, seven. So it's – you have to give him the title I mean, of the but deal. he also got caught cheating, and then they had the whole murder thing happen on the team. Everybody, that wasn't him. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he knew Aaron But everybody – Aaron Hernandez, he was does, in on it. Everyone does something to get a, an edge in a game. Sure. Yeah. I were. mean, this – but it was it was great watching them fall apart in the playoffs. Ooh, the Buccaneers. Buccaneers. That game was ruthless. I was like, oh, they have it. It's over. It's over. Squeak. And then the same thing happened to the Buffalo Bills later that night. Like um, that was so upsetting. So I watched that entire game, not entire game, but majority of that game. That was possibly the most exciting football game I have ever seen. Yeah, I couldn't. And I watch football more than I watch hockey now. It is the that was hands down the most exciting game I think. That I may ever see. It was so good. Like yelling at the TV good. 
Now, because of that, I think I'm starting to follow the Buffalo Bills more. I don't know about that. I don't think I'm that dedicated to the cost. I'm always going to be a Steelers fan, but I was only root for the Bills because I felt like this was the final, like this was the time. You know what I mean? This was the time that they were going to win. It will never be the time. Ah, well, we're going to take our final break for this week's radio show. One of the greatest songs by Weezer. My name is Jonas on Access Radio. TwitchGate.com! This is a song about waking up. Open those eyes, you slept enough. <laughs> Gotta make some money and go to work. I think it's key to Get victory, but it may not be. I don't think he's actually balding. Play I think he's shaving his head like that. <laughs> Is, is this the flamingo guy? No, I thought it was. <laughs> this is literally one of the most annoying songs I've heard. Here's a couple comments I heard from this that actually made me laugh. <laughs> one, this is now my new alarm. I have never slept through it. <laughs> this song is an extremely effective alarm clock. I have such horrible flashbacks. Whenever you hear the birds chirp before the blurring alarm sounds. <laughs> um... Uh, I am so waking up my kids with this song. The, what is the song called? The most infuriating thing about this song is the fact that the arm gradually becomes more offbeat. <laughs> Another one says, I've been in a wheelchair all my life and I stood up to turn this off. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm dying because it actually is kind of funny. The worst song is Gain 21,000 Lights. Me, mom, can I go to a concert? Mom, we have a music at home. The music at home. This is the song. <laughs> no one. Literally announcing saw 3.2 million people typing worst song ever. <laughs> okay. uh, so how much money has this guy made having the worst song ever? Oh, probably made a lot. I mean, he's got yeah. how many millions does he have? He has 3.5 million views. Shit. He has 43,000 likes. Guess what? He gets a like from Droid's can because it's just that <laughs> funny. Dan, so hold on, I gotta set this up real quick here. All right, you're setting up. Oh, I gotta set this up here. Let's roll over here. Let's get started. Hold on, here we go. Reflection time. Oh, well, it's time to reflect. What did we learn on this week's episode? Because originally, I won't lie, we were going to troll everyone and play nothing but Christmas music the entire show. We were. We were. Just because they how many be... how many Christmas songs got played this show? About four. About four. <laughs> I mean, and it's the funny lot. part is, only two of them were put in by me. Two were auto populated. Two were auto populated. Yes. So maybe removing the Christmas music would work. Maybe it would prevent Christmas music. I mean, music it from would be really weird in. to me that I'm like rocking out the Pearl Jam and Nirvana, and then <laughs> so it's Christmas comes on. That um, would just throw me for a loop. No, there. the so this is Christmas was perfect after we were literally dying from the grapefruit job. So, Dan, yes. when you go home tonight, <laughs> are you going to stop by your local store with a, for a grapefruit? Oh, I already have some some citrus at home. I do. You have grapefruit at home, but is it, like, is it cut open yet? What's that? Is it cut open yet? No, you keep it whole until you have it. Okay, I'm just asking questions. Yes. So are you going to show the video to the gin, or are you just going to hope it works out? No, no, no. I'm not going to show it because we're still happily married. <laughs> So you want to fast track the other direction? This is the way. Well, this is the way. This is the way. <laughs> this is the way. <laughs> if the Mandalorian ever says this is the way and holds up a grapefruit, greatest. You greatest need to story catch ever. up because I think next week we're going to talk about the season of the Mandal the Mandalorian. Sorry, Boba Fett. Um, it's hard to tell right now because there's so many episodes of Mandalorian and the Boba Fett TV show. It's hard to keep up. Like there's literally been seven episodes and three of them revolved around the Mandalorian. Yeah. Um. With the shit I got going on, I won't be able to watch a single one next. Oh. Don't you yawn at me. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't you yawn at I'm me. I'm a busy fuck. So, what, no, what did I learn? What did you learn? So, what did you learn this things. week? What? <laughs> First thing is show prep. Show prep. Show prep <laughs> is something that we, we, we can't... I have only one thing for show prep and we even talk about. I had zero show prep. That's on you. That's, that's so, no, 100% on, on you. Me. So, um, what I learned was... Well, it was on. kind of... Okay. Calm down. You're getting a little hyper. What I learned was, you know, even though it was fairly random that we did fall into the grapefruit job, now, having your best stuff first, if that could be considered best stuff... Okay. Um, it, <laughs> it was accidental. It, it was completely accidental. 
Um, that was a beautiful disaster. That was now, a beautiful disaster. With that, it's hard to follow up on that. I mean, That's you were dead. Number I almost want to replay that clip in the end of the show. Yeah. Because of how much you were laughing. Dude, I was dying. Maybe was it'll be dying. the first time ever you listen to your own show. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> now, um, but I've already heard it, like right now. So, Hear it again. the second thing I learned was... How close are we on that edge? <laughs> well, today, this week, now we were taking it easy. This week was taking it easy? We were totally taking it easy. Well, if this is the last time you hear us because we've gotten fired, you can hear us at droidscanada.com. I had me doubt that. But anyways, we're done for the night. We're out of here. Good day. Oh my god, turn the shit on! Fucking bullshit! Fucking bullshit! To be the man, you gotta beat the man, and I'm saying, woo, right here, I'm the man.